A Holocaust survivor who settled here in Pittsburgh and decades later survived the mass shooting at the Tree of Life Synagogue has died. Judah Samet showed up a few minutes late for Sabbath services at the Tree of Life on October 27, 2018, and another congregant warned him not to go inside. Samet said he saw the shooter and had hoped to testify against him. Royce Jones joins us now with more on Samet's life and a look at an interview he did with John Shumway about his amazing story of survival. Royce. Yeah, Ken, Sam, the Tree of Life Synagogue was a major part of Judah Samet's life. In 2018, he told our John Shumway that he was at the Tree of Life practically every day. That includes the day of that horrific shooting. We pulled a portion of that story where he describes what he heard and saw as he arrived in the parking lot. <laughs> And then he stopped, and the police shot him about three times. I don't know how a, uh, none of the bullets grazed my, my car. I saw the smoke coming out of his gun, you know, as he was shooting. And then he disappeared. This is Summit's second story of survival. He spends many of his days making sure people don't forget what families like his went through in the Holocaust. They asked people to get on the train. My mother grabbed the, the four of us. Her husband, my grandparents, her brother, we got on the train. We know it's a death train. So we were, they were looking for a place to finish us, and we were going around for weeks. It was near the end of the war, and suddenly the train was abandoned by the Germans, and an American tank arrived. And when the hatch opened... Yeah, you know, it was a Jewish fellow from Brooklyn. And Samet made his way to Pittsburgh and became a business owner. And as a Holocaust survivor, he believed that that was part of the way why he survived, to continue to tell that story. Judah Samet also wanted to tell the story of what he witnessed at the Tree of Life in 2018. He was 84 years old. I'm Royce Jones, KDK News. Yeah, incredible story. Thank you, Royce.